We will be uh, publishing in a few weeks uh, uh, a report updating our um, thoughts about Tesla, uh, our excitement about the potential of a ride-hailing service as a bridge to an autonomous uh, service, and our high and the higher odds that autonomous is going to happen for Tesla. Uh, and part of the reason for the higher odds is now that Waymo is on the road autonomously. We know it can be done. Uh, Tesla has so much more data than Google or anyone else or everyone else combined uh, that we think it's in the pole position. We believe that the uh, autonomous market, so the ride-hailing market but autonomous, will be a $7 trillion revenue opportunity. Hey, I'm Stephen, and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be reacting to some recent clips of ARK Invest Kathy Wood discussing her renewed thoughts around Tesla, the fact that ARK Invest have been buying an absolutely monstrous amount of Tesla stock this week, multiple nine figures worth, as in hundreds of millions of dollars of Tesla stock. News that ARK Invest will be updating their Tesla research shortly, which presumably includes a new Tesla stock price target, and the fact that ARK Invest have grown even more confident that Tesla has won the race to solve full self-driving. Where have we heard that before? And I'll provide an update on my own stock portfolio. I bought a load of Tesla stock this week. Not quite as much as ARK Invest, unfortunately. My pockets aren't that deep. And in fact, I had to entirely sell out of a stock position to fund some of my purchases. But hey, when opportunity knocks, I will always open the door. So with that said, let's get into the video. But first, hey guys, if you'd like to help out the channel and get up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Webull. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. So what are you doing on a day like today? Are you, are you buying? I mean, the NASDAQ was down uh, almost 4% today. Yes. Tesla was down significantly. Did you buy? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we, uh, we publish our trades at the end of every day. So uh, you will see them. The market's closed. Uh, we bought a lot of Tesla uh, today across any strategy that holds Tesla. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how to make money in the stock market. Buy the dip. Oh, damn. You know, that'd make great merch. BRB. Well, what do you know? Buy the dip merch is now available in the merch store featuring the Tesla stock price chart. There's a link in the description if you'd like to pick up your shirt. There's also hoodies, long sleeves, mugs, phone cases. Check them out in the link below. All right, let's get back to it. P.S. All proceeds from merch sales will probably go towards me buying more Tesla stock. Just saying. And because I'm such a nice guy, <laughs> who am I kidding? I'm not a nice guy. Nobody likes a nice guy anyway. Wait, what's that? Can I, can I hear some virgins getting offended? In the, anyway, let's move on. So I've actually tabulated how many shares of Tesla stock ARK Invest purchased this week. So let's have a look at how many shares of Tesla stock ARK bought and approximately how much they spent acquiring those shares. Okay, so we can see ARK's purchases on Monday there, a few hundred thousand shares, 273,105 to be exact. On Tuesday, another 189,000. And on Thursday, another 75,000. I'm estimating an average price of around $675. Don't get your panties in a twist. That's probably not exactly correct, but to give us a ballpark fee, that is approximately one third of a billion dollars, well over $300 million into Tesla stock this week. As I mentioned earlier, I also bought some shares of Tesla, but not quite as many as ARK. We'll get to that on the tail end of this video. And uh, we will be uh, publishing in a few weeks uh, uh, a report updating our um, thoughts about Tesla, uh, our excitement about the potential of a ride hailing service as a bridge to an autonomous uh, service. And our high and the higher odds that autonomous is going to happen for Tesla. Uh, and part of the reason for the higher odds is now that Waymo is on the road autonomously, we know it can be done. Uh, Tesla has so much more data than Google or anyone else or everyone else combined uh, that we think it's in the pole position. Some really big news here from Kathy Wood. ARK Invest will be updating their research around Tesla stock. No doubt that will include a new Tesla stock price target. Now, for those of you who don't know, ARK Invest last published their research around Tesla about a year ago. Nobody gave a f back then because nobody knew or cared about Kathy Wood or ARK Invest. What a difference a year makes. Anyway, 
This time, I think that their research may actually have a material impact on Tesla stock, keeping in mind that ARK's current research, over one year old before their confidence had grown in Tesla solving autonomy, they were waiting at around 30% probability back then. That scenario included a $22,000 price target, $4,400 per share split adjusted in the golden goose scenario. I wonder what that new golden goose scenario is gonna look like. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think ARK Invest's new Golden Goose price target is going to be for Tesla stock, keeping in mind that their prior target, 4400 per share split adjusted? I personally think it's going to probably push closer to six or $7,000 per share, but that is a total guess. Let me know your guess in the comments below. Well, it's interesting too, you know, it's funny, Kathy, people, you know, expecting you to be on and they were sending us tons of questions. You know, this whole idea of the treasure trove of data that Tesla has specifically, you talk about it a lot. You know, do other people believe it? Do you, are you seeing other, you know, people kind of uh, put that out as kind of one of the fundamental reasons that you want to own Tesla? It's not just a car company, right? It's a technology company. It's a battery company. Is that thesis yeah. of it being a data company getting a lot more recognition? We do not think uh, many uh, analysts or investors are giving Tesla credit for autonomous. Uh, if they were, the stock would be a lot higher. This is a fair point from Kathy, although I do disagree slightly. I think the stock market in general is pricing in a little bit of success in autonomy from Tesla. I don't think Tesla's current market capitalization is purely priced just on total dominance of the electric vehicle market, although certainly that's comprising the majority of their current valuation. However, I believe that if it becomes obvious, apparent, evident that Tesla will have fully autonomous robo-taxis on roads that do not require drivers, Tesla's market cap is almost immediately going to add another $1 to $2 trillion, unless, of course, the market is too stupid to realize the high margin software revenue implications of this robo-taxi network which is possible. After all, we saw Tesla stock do approximately nothing for half a decade when it should have been heading towards the moon and has done a recent catch up in the last year or so. The same thing could happen with autonomy. What we do think they're giving Tesla credit for increasingly is, you know, it's electric vehicle franchise and how far ahead of the competition it, uh, Tesla is when it comes to battery technology, to artificial intelligence, both in the form of a uh, chip uh, through the data collection, we think 30 billion plus miles compared to Google's 30 million ish miles, uh, and still over the air software updates to, uh, to change performance. It's, it's remarkable that more are not on board, even the last one yet. Uh, so I think its franchise has legs here. So, so how does that translate into market value? For Tesla, how much more opportunity is there? How much how much more opportunity is is left for this run up to continue? Well, I'll give you a sense of, uh, and this is from our Big Ideas 2021. You can get that on our site, arc-invest.com. Uh, we uh, we believe that the autonomous market, so the ride hailing market, but autonomous, will be a $7 trillion revenue opportunity. Just to give you guys some context, $7 trillion is a rather large number. Maybe you've heard of this company, Apple, also known as a gigantic money printing machine. Well, $7 trillion is about 25 times more than Apple's annual revenue. Yeah, large number. And right now the ride hailing companies, human driven ride hailing, uh, their market cap probably cumulatively is around 200 billion globally. Uh, if, if we're right, Tesla is in the pole position in the United States to become the autonomous taxi network. Kathy's choice of words here really says a lot. The autonomous network, just like Google is the search engine and Amazon is the online retailer. They're very confident as am I, that Tesla is gonna take an outsized share of the autonomous ride hailing market. There aren't gonna be 20 or 30 services each with a two to 5% market share. No, 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 no. We're gonna see the same type of dominant monopoly as we do in search, online retail. There's plenty of other examples as well. Having a huge technological lead and the most data creates an unassailable lead. Why is it that nobody's taken down Google search or Amazon in the last two decades? Because they have unassailable leads. This is the same situation Tesla find themselves in with full self-driving. They had the biggest brains, they deployed the fleet, they're collecting the data, no one is catching them. Autonomous is going to submit to natural geographic monopolies. 
So in the U.S., our confidence in Tesla has gone up the more we understand about uh, autopilot and the more data. Uh, it's one to one and a half million robots out there, including my Model 3, are collecting. As I recall, ARK Invest previously had Tesla at around a 30% probability of solving autonomy. Who knows what that figure will be in this new research. I suspect now it's probably going to be over 50%, but time will tell. So that six to seven trillion dollar market, we think is going to be more in the developed world, ironically, than in the um, emerging markets in terms of value uh, for reasons we can get into, if you would like. So the U.S. could be a third to a half of that, of that market. So think about that three and a half trillion dollar opportunity, and it's it's going to be more of a monopoly than I think uh, most investors and analysts understand right now. So three and a half trillion dollars for the U.S. robo taxi market, relatively large number. Now let's just do some really rough math. Let's just assume that Tesla captures a little under one third of this market. That is over one trillion dollars of annual revenue from ride hailing services in the US alone. Now, Tesla's revenue today is a little under $1 trillion per year. So Tesla stock to the moon, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Jupiter, Neptune, name your destination in the outer solar system? Seems likely. And that brings us to my stock portfolio update. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I've been buying Tesla stock this week and I had to sell out of an entire position, completely out of one stock to fund some of these purchases. For me, I just couldn't resist the opportunity. Not an ideal scenario, but look, I'm an opportunistic investor, constantly reassessing and weighing things up. And to me, the dips this week were just too good to ignore, so I loaded up with every spare cent. Let's have a look at my stock portfolio as it stands today. So here we are, my complete stock portfolio as it stands today. The market is still open, so some of these figures might jump around a tiny bit. Tesla stock comprising over 97% of my stock portfolio, Amazon a little over 1%, and the ARK Genomics ETF close to 1.5%. My cost basis on Tesla stock has been skyrocketing. It's now at $115 per share. Keeping in mind, I've been buying Tesla stock since March 2016, and I own a little over 5,000 shares. Regular viewers of the channel will be wondering, Stephen, what the hell happened to your CRISPR stock? That is what I sold out of entirely to fund the purchase of more Tesla stock this week. That's not all I did. I'll show you guys all of my transactions so you can see the prices and the amount of shares I purchased. But just for the record, I actually sold CRISPR for a loss. Two reasons, one in part to fund the purchase of some more Tesla shares, but also I have some capital gains due. So selling for a capital loss, I actually sold CRISPR at a loss of almost 20%. Now, that might sound a little bit idiotic to you, but when I weighed up the probabilities, I saw the opportunity here. I'm actually gonna offset a capital gain with a capital loss, so I'll come out fairly neutral from that trade, and the opportunity to buy Tesla at a massive discount was too good to ignore. That doesn't mean I've lost conviction in CRISPR, it just means at that point in time, I thought, you know what? There's probably more opportunity in buying Tesla stock now than hanging on to CRISPR. Only time will tell if that was the right move. So here we are. These are all of my transactions on Tesla stock in 2021. The purchases I've made this week alone, 150 shares of Tesla stock, cost basis on that around $100,000. And so far, pretty neutral in terms of the value gain and loss. As you guys can see, I also purchased some Tesla shares earlier in February, total of 70 shares. And total losses on those so far, paper losses of course, I'm not going to be forced to sell, so I'm not going to be locking a loss on Tesla stock, down about $12,000 in total. Just to remind you guys, I am a very long-term investor. I don't plan on selling a single share of Tesla stock any time this decade. And by the way, there's a few people that seem to project and make assumptions. That doesn't mean I'm planning to sell Tesla stock the decade after that either, dipshit. It just means that I will not sell any shares of Tesla stock this decade, period. After that to be determined. But ideally, I'd like to hang on to this stock as long as humanly possible. The only reason I'll be selling Tesla stock anytime in the future is to fund capital intensive philanthropy. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Did you buy the dip this week? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. And don't forget, if you'd like to help out the channel and get up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Webull. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments.
comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.